Praise the Lord. I want to welcome everybody to the Sunday evening worship service here at New Testament Christian Church. I want to welcome also everybody that joins us online as we go into the worship portion of the service. I want to begin by reading from the book of Psalms, 148 Psalm. The word of the Lord says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He hath also established for them forever and ever. He hath made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons, and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, all men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. What a word to finish on right there. Let us stand to our feet right now as we go before the Lord. Thank you. Let's lift up our hands, lift up our voices, our hearts to the Lord. And praise him. Thank you, Father, Lord God, for giving us here, Lord, for this time of worship and fellowship, Lord. We praise you right now. We pray that you have prepared a word in pastor's heart, Lord God, and that each and every heart that is listening, Lord, will receive that which you have, Lord God, prepared. We praise you right now, Lord. Let the result of this service be that you alone will be exalted. Amen and amen.
like Jason. Yeah. Just had a birthday. <laughs> good to see my brother back there. It's been a minute, so uh, God is good. Yeah. And I also want to say it's a blessing to have each one online. And uh, the church is growing. I wish that you could uh, actually see how this building looks. It's a very nice place that we're in. I mean, nice, I mean, just nice all the way around. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, things happening here, fellowship meetings and all that good stuff. And so God is moving, right? The Lord is moving. Uh, God is blessing. And we have a vision that we're going to try to make something happen around here. And uh, we don't want to take off uh, forever and ever. Why do you say that, Pastor? Because really, I'm trying to catch up to God, right? Mm -hmm. The Lord is years and years ahead of me, and he's saying, come on up, if you can catch me, catch me. <laughs> and you know he wants to be caught, right? Yeah. All right, when God says catch me if you can, he already knows you can. So we can't catch up with him because he is our helper, he is our creator, and we're going to keep this thing pushing forward. So our Lord and Savior is awesome. So at this time, we're going to go ahead and receive the Sunday night budget offering and tithe. And remember, all Christians faithfully and consistently pay their tithe and gladly give in the offering as unto the Lord. And tonight's offering is going to go to our spring. Uh, we got a spring event coming up. I want to promote that. Uh, we have been. We, we really need this to get done because uh, I will share with you my vision. Uh, not right now, but a little bit later on, I'm going to share with you my vision of what we need to do as a church here in Macon, Georgia. But this offering is going to the Spring Fellowship. It is not going to the church. It's going directly to the Spring Fellowship. Of course, the timing has a different function, but every, every dollar of this offering is going to the Spring Fellowship. That is how serious I am. And I never did an offering like that, but that's what this one is going to be, right? <laughs> so I'm going to give the first 20. It ain't 20. It's 20. <laughs> All right? I'm going to give my queen 20. <laughs> I keep the other 20. I got the best. <laughs> give up all my 20, but I can give this one, right? This goes to the fellowship. So let us pray over the offering. I would like to ask God. Uh, uh, Brother Lance, sir, if you don't mind asking God's blessing on the special offering. And also, again, you can go over to the to the uh, comment section. And there you can give. If you want to give to this, this offering, again, it's going to the Spring Fellowship. There's a reason behind it, okay? There is a reason. And so uh, let us pray. Brother Lance, if you don't mind. Father God, we thank you for this time of gathering. We thank you for this time to bless you and your name and your house. We thank you, the Lord, for blessing us. We ask that you bless both the gift and the giver according to their giving. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
Blows me up, I guess. Blows me up. We're excited about youth group, children's church. We got rooms where we can have the youth have have a have some things going, and we can divide the age groups up now where they're not all in one class. And so bring your kids, bring your teenagers. We're gonna have stuff for them. And also, I wanna put this in your heart. I, I want, um, I'll probably be talking to some of you about being teachers. But tonight, we're gonna go ahead and rock and roll with it. I get this thing going now. We're gonna rock and roll with it. Hmm. All right, y'all. We're gonna come out Of the book of Luke. Out of the book of Luke. Can y'all hear me? Pastor, you don't need a mic. It's a dude for my own ears. Because if I don't, if I don't hear me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to kill myself. Luke chapter 6, verses 8 through 10. Shout out to all of y'all. Say shout out to everybody. Probably do that later on. Shout out to you. We're coming out of the book of Luke chapter 6, verse 8 through 10. The word reads, hmm. It says, But he knew their thoughts, and said to the man which had the withered hand, Rise up, and stand forth in the midst. And he arose and stood forth. Then said Jesus unto them, I will ask you one thing, is it lawful? On the Sabbath days to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it. And looking, and looking around about upon them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored whole as the other. Let me crunch this down. Let's read the text. Here's the text. Check it out. This is cool stuff. In verse 10, notice, and looking round about upon them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand, and he did so. And his hand was restored or came back whole as the other. Fascinating. We want to preach on the message entitled, Are You Willing to Stretch? That is the title. Are you willing to stretch and to God be all of the glory? Amen. Amen. You know, the Lord is not into wasting time. I love saying this. Amen. Because of the fact that God understands that you could have been anywhere else tonight. Amen. And because you are here, because you are listening online, because you are here tonight, guess what? God is going to speak to your heart. Amen. You don't even have to worry about that. Because it's not because of who I am, but it's because of who he is, right? Yes. And God loves each and every one of us. Yes. And the Lord has given us this facility for a reason. Yes. God has given this facility so you can be in an atmosphere where you can receive of the goodness of the Lord yes. and can see of a truth that when a person gives themselves to God, God would give himself back to them. Amen. Yes, amen. And so that is the type of a mindset we need to have every day when it comes to God, right? Yes. If we keep that, guess what? We're going to make it all the way to the kingdom of heaven yes. because we serve a God that we know is a provider. Yes. And he loves us. Oh, amen. Yes. And so we need to go with that as, as a basis tonight, as a, as a background canvas, if you would. Are you willing to stretch? Let us pray. Let's pray. I would like to ask, uh, let's see, Sister Davis, you don't mind asking God's blessing on this worship service, please, ma'am? Father, thank you for your words of truth. Thank you for your presence, even now. Lord, I pray that you would give us hearts that are eager and expecting your will, Lord, through your message tonight. Lord, give us ears to hear, Lord and a mind ready to focus. Yes. Lord, I also pray that you would make preaching easy for the man of God. 
Lord, hide him behind the cross, Lord, and give him a fresh unction from your throne room, that your will may be accomplished. Father, we will be careful to give you all the praise and glory for all that is accomplished through this service. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. All right. Are you willing to stretch? Mm. And, and again, I don't have much written down, but I want to preach this word from my heart to you and to kind of give us some enlightenment on the things that are of God and what the Lord expects in our lives, right? Amen. So let's loosen up here. Mm, let's loosen up. There is nowhere in the Word of God where you are praised or called to be weak. All right. God did not save you to be a weak Christian. The Lord did not save you to be a struggling saint. God did not save you for you to try to get out of his will and get out of his plan and go back into the world and live a sinful life or barely be making it for God. For we must understand that the will of God is this, that we are to be strong and very courageous to keep the word of God. Amen. When a person is strong and very courageous to keep the word of God, it causes them to grow. It causes the weak to get stronger. Yes. It causes those who are thin to become deeper. Amen. It causes their relationship to be hot. It causes them to know God in a reality because they know that the will of God for them is to be strong, not weak. Amen. The Lord did not call you to be weak or having mixed feelings about Jesus the Savior, right? right. The Lord said, I would that you were hot. Amen. God wants us to be hot. The Lord wants us to be all the way. The Lord uh, wants us to be on fire. He's saying, and the only way that you're going to be on fire, the only way you're going to get strength, you got to be willing to stretch. Amen. Amen. If there's something withered about you, you just have to stretch it to the Lord. If there's something withering about you, all you got to do is exercise it in faith. All you got to do is begin to put that thing in action and stretch it to the Lord and say, God, I'm going to grow. I'm going to become. I'm going to believe. I refuse to be weak because weak is not your will. Amen. When we say weak is not the will of God and we are to obey the will of God, we become strong no matter where we're weak at. Amen. Yes, we may have a weak area, but it does not mean that it has to stay weak. We can be strengthened everywhere in our life for the Lord, in our spirit, in our virtue. God has called us to power. God has called us to strength in doing and performing his will, of being very courageous to do the will of God. You have to be strong in the Lord. You got to be deep in the Lord because there are trials and things that have come up, pressures that have come up that will find you out, right? Yes. And when we have a heart that's focused on strength and, and focusing on uh, being powerful for God, we'll be unmovable. Amen. The word of the Lord tells us in the book of Joel, it says, uh, 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 verses 9 through 10, chapter 3, verses 9 through 10, it says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. It says, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all men of war draw near. Let them come up. He, then he said this, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. I like this. In other words, your farming instruments, he said you need to change them into weapons because you're about to go to war. He said you need to change these tools that you have into weapons because you are about to go to war. But I like this part. Watch this. He said, after that, he said, let the weak say, I am strong. In other words, he said, you need to speak, I am strong, right? When you begin to work your tongue to say, I am strong in God, yes. you will begin to become strong in God. Amen. And until you do that, you will never be strong in the Lord. Amen. You need to move your 
mouth in the right way. Yes. You need to speak strength into your life. You need to speak those virtues uh, into your heart. And guess what? Your mind will begin to wake up to God. Your mind will begin to wake up to Jesus. You will begin to understand that, yes, I can do this. Yes, I can take this. Yes, I can be saved. And when I am God, I say, come as a pure gold. Because I'm hot, not cold or lukewarm. I'm on fire because I have spoken it. Let the weak say, I am strong. And you will be strong. Yeah. You'll be strong any day of the time, of, of time, any day and any hour. It does not matter what is going on or how things look. It's all right because you know that it's going to work out and God is going to make a way where there seemed to be no way. Yeah. I know the God that can make a way there where it seemed to be no way. You know what? I'm amazed at what God can do. I'm amazed at the Lord as I begin to work for God and begin to believe God. And, and from a certain angle, it's amazing how God begins to bring things to pass in our life. You know, it's wonderful being in this facility. This facility is a great example. We couldn't find a place. We're supposed to win the water rounds. We're supposed to go to another city. We're supposed to go way up the street somewhere. We were laughing about it not too long ago. But God, let me know that there is something hidden that you cannot see and that you need to approach it differently. Yeah. And the right approach got us here. And, a, and the right approach to get us anywhere in the Lord. Yes. If we say, I'm strong in this. Yes. Yes. When we get saved, we need to say, I am strong. And be sound of a sound mind. Yes. The blood of Jesus has made you strong. Yes. When we were in our sins and lost the known our way to hell, we were, we were without strength. He did not say we were without strength after we got saved. He never said that in the word of God. He said uh, when we were, that's past tense, without strength, Christ died for the ungodly. In so many words, right? And so, brothers and sisters, we need to confirm it in our heart. When we, when we ask Christ into our life, the moment Jesus saved us, we need to say, I am strong. It'll, it'll deliver the drunkard. When he gets up from the altar and he calls out to Jesus and says, Lord, I'm, I don't want to be an alcoholic. I am coming to you for deliverance. I am coming to you for salvation. And to verify that he believes that it has happened in his life, the weak alcoholic need to say, I am strong. Yes. And he'll never drink again because you set yourself up to win on the inside. Yes. He said, beat your plowshares in the sword. Don't go out there. He said, he said, and your pruning hooks into spears. He said, let the weak say, I am strong. And so we got to stretch. If we're having a hard time believing, say, I am strong in faith, not me. And then your faith to be off the chain. Your faith wants to be off the chain. You want to believe God, but we got him on the chain. That faith is sitting there saying, uh, let me loose. Uh, just let me out. Uh, let God be God. Uh, let me loose. Let me run. And when you say, I am strong, you let that faith off the chain, it's going to jump the fence and going to chase all of your adversaries. Yes. Chase them all the way as you sit there and laugh with joy watching your adversary run away. The Lord is able tonight. He said, are you willing to stretch, though? Are you willing to stretch and follow Jesus? Are you willing to stretch and begin to make your prayer more powerful? Are you willing to stretch and make that which you are struggling in not to be a struggle anymore? It's amazing how that the things that defeat us, we allow those things to continuously be struggles in our life when we have Jesus. He said, if ye walk in the spirit, what? Ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If we walk in the spirit, though, all we got to do is say, Lord, I'm strong in the spirit. I will not be weak because you did not command me to be that way. Amen. Amen. I'm glad God didn't command me to be that way. It causes you not to collapse. 
it causes panic attacks that all of a sudden you're not having any panic attacks anymore. Because now you are allowing, check this out, the peace of God to rule in your heart. Not anxiety. The Lord is able tonight. Amen. Yes. Jesus is able to bring muscles into your heart, into your mind, and into your soul. Yes. All you got to do is proclaim it. Yes. Proclaim it with your mouth. Yes. Move your mouth. Get your tongue a talking, and you will have what you want in the Lord. Amen. He, the Bible says, uh, in so many words, in Joel chapter 3, it's saying, telling us to wake up and to weaponize ourselves in the Lord. What are you talking about? Weaponize yourself against all sins. Amen. Weaponize yourself against all, against all sins. I am strong, no matter what. Amen. No matter what comes at me, I am going to stretch forth. If I got a withered hand, all I have to do is stretch it out to Jesus. Yes. All I got to do is work it out, right? Yes. Oh God, stretching it out to yes. the Lord, right? Yes. And if I and if I'm not able, guess what? He is able. Yes. Amen. Jesus will work it out as we work it out. Yes. He wants to work with us, brothers and sisters. We will win this thing. Amen. Yes. We will have our new building. We will have it our way, right? God is going to provide it. The Lord is going to make a way, right? When you're telling people you can be strong. When you're telling people you don't have to be a crook. When you tell people you don't have to die and go to hell. When you tell people you don't have to be a hypocrite. When you tell people you don't have to be poor and down out and beaten up in the spirit. Uh, you can walk with God. You can know Jesus in a reality. When you tell people you can feel uh, the presence of God if you go after it enough. When you tell people uh, you can uh, begin to lift up your hands in prayer and God will answer you the next day. He probably will have it already ready the moment he sees you prepare your heart in faith, uh, uh, believing that uh, 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 that he will bring it to pass. Uh, all we have to do is tell Macon uh, that Jesus Christ is alive. Uh, that where two or three are gathered together in his name, uh, there he is in the midst of them, right? Uh, he's walking in the midst and he's saying, uh, this is something uh, that the church needs to work tonight, and that is say, I am strong. Amen. 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 When you're courageous to keep the word of God, the word of God will begin to spread. <laughs> I love talking about that spread. That word of God, you begin to keep it. When you're courageous about it, you bring it down into your heart, it'll begin to spread. It'll spread everywhere. It'll spread over there, and it'll spread over here. If you're weak need, if you're weak need, all of a sudden, your knees are walking right. You're talking right. You are on, as we've been talking about, you're on an autopilot because you are allowing the Spirit of God to work in you. Mm -hmm. yes. To will where you had no will. To believe where you could not believe. To will and to do where you could not do of His good pleasure. Amen. Because that's the way things work. Amen. Amen. That's the way things work. Be strong and very courageous. You, yes. you don't have to worry about dying and going to hell when you're strong and very courageous. You don't have to worry about a jacked up testimony when you're strong and very courageous. You can say the Lord kept me from profanity. You can say the Lord kept me from adultery. You can say the Lord kept me from thieving, kept me from talking bad or speaking out of turn because I say I am strong. Yes, yes. And the Lord will begin to honor your faith. And what people mess up at is to not believe the scripture where it says, according to your faith, so be it unto you. I don't care how it looks. It may be thin tonight. It's all good because I already know what I'm going to do. Amen. I already know the path. I already know the path. Thank you, Jesus. And I don't have to go here. Can you help me? No. I already know the path. All I gotta do is get up early enough and go to God. Oh, yeah, yes. all work out. Yes. Hey, Amen. If I make sure I'm straight, this will be straight. Boy, it's peace when you think of it that way. <laughs> yes, I remember as a new person, I'd be like, oh, oh, where's the big one? Where's the big one? Well, I don't even 
even care about where the people as much as I care about where I'm at. Amen. Because if I know where I'm at, guess what? The people are being That's, That's right. what it's all about, right? Amen. I don't have to even work hard. All I got to do is say I am strong. All you have to do is, all I have to do is feed it to you. My church get to talking about I'm strong, we strong. Amen. And then the people will come because the biscuits taste good, right? Amen. The chicken is juicy. God, Jesus is walking down and he's full of juicy stuff. He got juice for everyone. I'm looking over here at this camera. He got some juice for this one. And they said it ain't dry over at that church. It's a lot. It is well. God working in the midst. The Lord healing people. God moving upon people. Why? Because the maker but said, I am strong. You don't have to have a jacked up Monday. Your money belongs to God. You don't have to have a jacked up Tuesday. He says, uh, uh, turn it, turn your pruning hooks into weapons. Uh, those things that are beating you up, make it a weapon of defense. Turn that thing on the devil. Yeah, turn that thing on life. Believe Jesus, the lion of the tribe of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I'm so crying crazy. I'm not exalting myself, but I want to talk about something. I love hearing Tigers growl. Gosh, man, that's a good one on YouTube. You got to check it out. They go, rawr. They sound like a monster, too. I almost like them better than the lions, you know what I'm saying? The lions go, ooh, ooh. But them tigers are like, I said, woo, that's God. He made that tiger. Right. Woo, well, you can feel it. It'll rattle the whole inside of here. That thing. They go, I said, that's the kind of spirit I have Amen. Right. when it comes to fighting against the devil. Amen. I am tight. Amen. 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 And when it comes to God, I want to be soft as a lamb or sheep. Amen. And when the devil comes against me, I want to be on tiger in tiger mode. Amen. I think they call it beast mode. Yeah. <laughs> and the devil's like, oh, gosh. <laughs> You're going to call on the name of the Lord, right? <laughs> Say it, Jesus. What am I talking about? <laughs> God is good tonight. Yes, he is. And I'm here to tell you that if you don't mind listening to this, this is not too far above you. Amen? Amen. Sometimes people are just, the sister Natalie, some people are just, uh, they just got it like that. I mean, they born just, I mean, I'm like, gosh. Some people are born with the mindset. They get born again and born again. You know what I'm saying? Somebody they born again when they're born, and they born again when they come to Jesus. I'm like, gosh, man, you already got the devil, but not me. I think my mother must have, somebody might have dropped me on my head. <laughs> Boom! Because I was a mess. Then I got saved, and I still was a mess. You know? Because I ain't got to live. I got saved, I quit drinking and all that stuff, that's cool. I mean, what's so hard about quitting drinking anyway? What's so crazy with you? Because you could be saved and all that and still not know how to live and still be a mess. Don't even know anything about life. All mixed up and messed up. And for somebody to say that that's not true, I, I don't, I'm telling you, I must be on another planet. <laughs> because you can absolutely be saved and still not know how to live and have that absolute wrong perception of the things that are of God. I mean, you, you, you know what I'm saying. You, you can, you, you've got morals. But what, I mean, that's cool and things. That's, that's okay. He delivered you from your sins, right? We're not living in sin, baby. But my gosh, the immaturity factor. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something? And that's why today, tonight, I'm here to tell you you can become a man or a woman whenever you're ready. Amen. Nobody told me that. But I'm going to share this tonight. You can become a man or a real woman whenever you're ready. You don't have to be a little boy in God. You can get your maturity right now. If you're willing to learn the things of the Lord and you're willing to grow, you're willing to become, and you're willing to stretch. If it's weak on you, stretch it out. Work it out. Believe God. And then everything will be all right. Amen? Amen. 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 You got to know how to live tonight. 
And I'm challenged, challenging this church. I want you every day when you get up out of the bed, if you say, I want you every day to get out of the bed and don't worry about what you think and whatever you get out and say, I am strong in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you do that tonight? Yes. yes. Isn't this a powerful tool? Yes. I am strong in Jesus' name. And when the enemy come in like a flood, you say it again, I'm strong in Jesus' name. And if you got to say it over and over again until you blew in the face, you might as well go ahead and get your face blue in. Because we need to be strong in the Lord tonight. Amen. We need to be strong in God. I'm just about begging you to be strong in the Lord. Because we got to make this thing work. We got to come together on this. We cannot be uh, uh, funky about this. We got to make it work. I am strong. All right, and don't feel too embarrassed about it. You know, I gotta get all of that, sister man. Some people, no, this is silly. No, it isn't because the other way didn't work. We might as well try this. I'm just making a suggestion. I am strong in the Lord. I'm not, I'm not gonna accept that. And if there's something weak on me, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stretch it forth. My hand is withered in the spirit. Oh man, my hand is withered. I'm gonna hear the words of Jesus. Just, just stretch it forth to me, and it will become whole as the other hand. Amen. And you'll be just as sound and just as moral in, in all areas of your life if you're willing to say, I am strong. Instead of coming to church being uh, 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 condemned, you can come to church ready to praise and worship God and say, I can get that one saved, I can get that one in, start giving it to our families and our friends and all, we invite them all. And before you know it, the house is full as long as we stay strong. Amen. But if we are weak, guess what? Ain't nothing happening. Won't nothing happen in the church, and won't nothing happen in your life. But I don't believe we're going to be weak, right? Because I'm going to be your stick man. <laughs> All right? You know what the stick man is? I'm about to get out of here. This is airborne stuff. I don't know if anybody was airborne. But the stick man was the guy who was in the back of everyone. And he would push. He would push because he got to get that jump in, right? He got to get that jump that counts as points. So he don't want to miss his jump. So he would help push the guys out. He would be behind the line, they all going to the door, and he's pushing and pushing, pushing them, and then they scared, <laughs> and he pushing and pushing and pushing them because he got to get that jump. And then the next day, you know, he's the last man to jump out, called the stick man. So I guess, here I am. Amen. Amen. You can be strong tonight. Yes. You can stay safe tonight. And God is good. Even the bullets are bearing with me. Amen. Maybe the Lord is saying, Brother Davis, it's time to say goodnight because the crickets are. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? We're going to be strong. And, if, and, and listen to this. I'm going to encourage you this way. If you're not pleased with your day, guess what? You got another day. Amen. Amen. If you're not pleased with your day, you got another day in the Lord. Amen. Never, under any circumstances, say, I'm weak in the Lord. Because I'm strong in God, I'm going to follow him all the days of my life. As our heads are bowed and eyes are closed in reverence to the Lord, can you stretch? Will you stretch? Will you reach out to God? Will you come to him? Will you lay all sins down? Those sins that lie to you saying uh, uh, that you are snared by it. Those sins that lie to you and say you cannot get away from me. Those sins that say uh, you cannot break this. It's unbreakable. But with God all things are possible. Jesus died on the cross to break, as that song says, every chain. To break all addictions, to break, to break all sinfulness. If someone would dare say, I am strong in the Lord, cleanse me of all of my sins. As our heads are bowed and eyes are closed, if there's anyone that needs to pray tonight, how about praying after me? I'm going to pray a congregational prayer. If you need to pray, follow me in prayer. Father, I come to you with everything that I am. If there's anything in my heart, dear Lord, is not right, I ask you to forgive me. And Lord, I claim 
victory over all those things that have been tripping me up. And from this day forward, I'm going to live as unto Jesus. For I have received him as my Lord and Savior. And from this day forward, I am going to say, I am strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's just pray for a little while. If there's anyone out there that says, Pastor, I need a personal prayer. How about slipping that hand up real quick and putting it right back down and I'll come pray for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Move God. Go ahead and talk to him for a moment.
bless you real good. God bless you. All right, everybody. It's good to see you.